Yeah. Catch the craze in the house. And you know there's no doubt. So beat the flow. Here we go. I picks up the books that I like to read. My fans all know me as Mr. Crazy. I'm here to represent the entire indie crew. Each and every week, I'm come back here to do. Santa Crazy Man and Mr. Medina giving you a new show without a repeater. So what did you read? What did you get today? Get the latest group right here on Catch the Craze. Catch the Craze. Catch the Catch the Craze. Only show which gives you weekly. This episode of The Comic Show is sponsored by the Kids Comic Con, March 29th at the Bronx Community College. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to The Comic Show. I know it's been a while. It's been a long time since I've been here with you doing what I do here in this room. So, as you notice, I'm promoting Project Duty. You know, to do things at once. Do two things at once. So I'm doing two things at once, and I'm going to promote... Project Duty, um, and you see the paraphernalia. The characters up on the top and all that whole step. So, um, Project Duty, if you don't know, I am also the man behind Crazy Comics and also Cast the Craze. So it's a two in one. You know what I mean? Two for. I'm giving you a two for today. So I got a few things I'm going to talk about today. It's been a long time. I got some independent comic books just for you. And I've read some, and um, I know you guys are sending me a lot of stuff, and I'll get to them as I can. But um, this is the show to do it. So this is a 10-minute show, so you know, why don't I just get into it? So recently, I interviewed um, a cat on Cats to Craze podcast audio mix to independent spotlight. And um, this guy sent me, he's he's like me in a sense, you know, he does everything. You know, his name is Martin Blanco, and he's the co-director, co-founder of Pitt Brothers Productions. And uh, sent me a couple books. One of them is Henry and Butcher. Which is right here. This is a, um, I'll get into it, really good story. I like this. Of the two, I like this the most. And then there's also The Legend of... Joe's Moon. Nah, it's not Joe's Moon. It's Joe Moon. And um, here it is, The Legend of Joe Moon. If you can see that right there, bam. Just for you. Um, two different styles of writing, two different styles of to- storytelling, but they're both dark. And I like Henry and Butcher because it reminds me... I can see Bruce Willis playing this character uh, in Henry and Butcher. Um, and it reminds me of uh, an episode out of... Um, the Twilight Zone, or or Alfred Hitchcock, you know, one of those type things, and it's just about this boxer, who everything seems to be fine, his life seems to be great, you know, he's reminiscing about this, this this fight a long time ago, he takes yeah. this loss, you know, he takes this major loss in this fight, and um, then guess what happens? Guess what happens? The Gambino comes along, he's like, I make him enough, but he can't refuse. And uh, here comes the mob, and they say, you know, I got a job for you. And he becomes the butcher. You know, he's you know, he, he's a collector. He collects. Don't borrow money, Sonny, because this is what happens, and it ain't funny. So um, he becomes this hitman, you know, this collector, and then all of a sudden he gets into a car wreck, and bam, the whole world changes. So he finds himself bloody. Going to a home which is not his, beating up on some dude who he thinks is sleeping with his wife, walking in the streets, and now he's talking to a dog. Actually, he's Henry Butcher, I think it's the dog. Uh, but he could, he guns a butcher anyway. But um, now he's in the streets, the people are crazy, you know, they think he's crazy, the cops are coming, and he's sitting on the street talking to a dog. The only, the only key to solving this crazy world of his. Wow. That's some stuff, man. That's just some. This is some stuff right here. Bam! Pip Brothers Productions. I'm gonna show you right here. This is this is this is unique, hardcore filming for you. So, uh, major read. Go pick it up. And now the other one is Legend of Joe Moon, and it's about this dude who. How? What can I say? It's a werewolf western. This dude, he's like uh, reminds me of Clint Eastwood. You know, bad guy going after bad guys. What can you do? 
and it's um, it's a little scary, um, but things happen, and uh, he saves this chick, but before he saves her, he rips her arm off. That's messed up. You're going to save this woman, and you're going to rip her arm off. That's because she got screwed, and she saw it coming, the wolf coming, and she tried to attack, and he didn't know she was friendly, and <laughs> ate that stuff. So, that's from the indie, 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 hardcore indie side. This is from the mainstream independent, which is really nice, really like small press publishing, because um, it's really not, because the man behind this, this amazing series is known throughout the universe, um, R.A. Salvatore and uh, The Forgotten Realm. And I read every, the first four trade paperbacks, you know. I was like you. I was picking up the comic books. But then I realized, wait, they're going to collect this sucker. Why am I going after this? You know what I mean? You know, you got like a one shot or a two issue mini. That's fine. You get them. But when you got a series like this, which is Forgotten Rims. And um, the first four trades that I read um, is... Uh, let me get it in order. Let me get it in order. I've read, um, actually, I've read the first five trades. Uh, the first five, and I'm waiting for number six to come out. I can't find the fifth, but I'm waiting for number six to come out. It's hot, it's off the hook. You got the Legend of Dritz. Dritz. You got the um, the um, uh, the Crystal Shard, the the Streams of Silver, Soyorn, um, Exile, the whole works. This is a great story. It's a master pizza. I can't tell you any more than I love it. I love it. I love it. Why do I love it? It's it's you know. If you love Lord of the Rings, you'll love this. Um, you know, it's it's no Lord of the Rings, but it's great. Um, you know, there can only be one Lord of the Rings. Remember that. But you got you got your halfling hobbit. You have your elves, you have your barbarians, and your humans, and your dwarves, and your ogres, and your know, goblins, and witches, and lions, and tigers, and bears, oh my. But uh, you got them all. You got suspense, you got drama, you got a quest, you got adventure, you got a common goal, um, purpose in this story. And it's all the good stuff rolled into one really, really good read. And it's a great stuff when you're going to work and you're on the bus and you want to just read something hardcore. This is it for me. I love this stuff. Then, of course, I get a plug. Plug. Then there's there's an alien in my toilet, baby. This thing is funny as heck. Why do I say that? Because I wrote it. But no, and I created it. But um, this is funny. Uh, I'm telling you right now. And if you don't believe me, you got to pick it up. This is the convention edition trade paperback. First volume. I'm happy about this, baby. And um, it, it's been flying off the shelves. I, and I gotta go and print some more copies for the kids' comic con, which is coming up pretty soon. But um, I got some really great reviews in this. And it's about this egocentric alien who thinks he knows it all. He's supposed to be the pride of Uranus, and he's sent to Earth on a mission to determine if we're a threat to his home world. His name is Duty. Hi, I'm Duty from Uranus. There it is, baby. It's right there. That's his name. So, this is a 12-part mini. The first half is collected into this convention edition. The second half is going into it, the vo second volume. You definitely got to pick it up. If you don't know why, go to the website. Check out Project Duty right here. Project Duty. I know. I'm plugging it for you. Um, and it's a 3D animated trailer that we're working on with my boy from college. His name is Tracy Alford. You know, we're putting this damn thing together You know, because it's funny. It's great. It's hilarious, um, um, and I'm, I'm not saying it just for me. Let's look at all the critic reviews we've gotten and uh, the exposure we get in the national TV coming up soon, the first weekend in February. This is it. If you haven't read it, pick it up. I'm telling you, it, it really. If you don't laugh the first three pages, you're crazy. So that's that. I'm Sam, the crazy man, Vera. Next week we got some more stuff. I got I got peop, um, com, independent comic book companies that have sent me. Um, the comic books. Um, if you can't send me the hard cover, I mean the, the actual material paper comic book, then send me a PDF file. I'll be more than happy to do, view it and talk to it. Uh, talk to them. I'm not gonna. I'm stuttering right here. Talk about it here on the show. Why? Because I am an independent, supporting the independent. I'm supporting you. That's crazy. You ever think about that? Let's let's ponder a second. Here I am trying to make it in this business, and I decide to go out and help the other guy. To help the competition. What am I thinking? You gotta love it, baby. Catch the Page Podcast till you next. For independence, by independence. You own the show. 
Hasan Kuzmanzo. See you next week on The Comic Show. What did you pick up? Peace. Hey, man! Ah, ha, ha. Ah, yeah, we got Irie, Irie. Books. Oh, you my You want to uh, read uh, me books? Yeah, many books. I have a lot of books. Ooh. Read my books. Puyaka, hey, puyaka. Yeah. I got the books. I see them in the head. You dead. I read a lot of books. I don't know what I said. Take it. Books? <laughs> <laughs> we get a lot of books, Ahmad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>